Okay, here's a quick little overview of the instrument panel. Um, of course, you got the cigarette lighter on top, the tachometer, the hour meter, the battery voltage, the engine oil pressure, the water temperature, the fuel gauge. This is the charge and return line lights that shows if there is a restriction. Um, the hydraulic oil or heat light. This is the brake, the brake reset, the parking light, um, your two windshield washer knobs, the joystick for the plow. You've got your, you can turn the joystick off and on. These two controls are not used. Um, you got high and low speed. You've got your horn, your front headlights, the high low on the front, the rear lights, left and right, the beacon light, the interior dome lights, and this is the heater. The sticker's missing. Um, when you go to start it, turn the key to on. The glow plugs will ignite. Wait until that light goes out before you start it. The throttle's down here. Push the veneer throttle button in and down so it's at idle. Okay, the light's out. We can turn the key to start it. Go to your throttle. You can increase your throttle to your desired RPM. Now, if you open the door, it's going to trigger the parking light. You cannot go when the parking light is engaged, so you've got to press the reset button. Now, you can go. This is your left track, your right track, both sticks forward, you're going to go forward. Both stick back, you're going to go back. And then, of course, you can adjust your throttle. Turning it counterclockwise increases the RPM. Turning it clockwise decreases the RPM. Push it and push it down will bring you to idle quickly. Uh, the blade control is pretty simple. Up, down, and then tilt. Tilt button there, and then right and left. Okay, that's pretty much it. Should give you an idea. If you got any questions, call me.